Fraction comes from a Latin word, fractio, which means to break. Just like having a pizza divided into eight equal parts or a slice of cake maybe or a portion of the balloons. Each piece is a fraction of the whole. In other words, fractions are parts of things. And if a fraction is just a part or a piece of something, therefore a proper fraction must be less than one. So let's discuss this in details. Study this example. A rectangle divided into three equal parts, and two parts are shaded or used. How do you write the fraction for this? To write a fraction, you need two numbers, one number on the top and one at the bottom, and a line between them. But what number goes on top and what number goes at the bottom? And what does the line between them mean? The number on the top must be the number of parts used or shaded. In this example, there are two parts shaded, and we call this the numerator. And the number below must be the total number of equal parts, which is three equal parts in this example, and we call this the denominator. A fraction is also a rational number. It means that a fraction can be expressed as the ratio of the number of parts used to the total number of equal parts, so which is 2 is to 3. Let's do a few more exercises. Write the fraction for the given illustrations. Remember, the number on the top, which is the numerator, must be the number of parts used or shaded. The number below is called the denominator, which is the total number of equal parts. So, our fraction for figure 1 is 1 half. Figure 2, 1 fourth and figure three, three-fourths. But what do you call the line between these two numbers? Does it even mean something? This line is called a vinculum or a fraction bar. In a fraction, the bar means division. In other words, one-half is the same as one divided by two. One-fourth means one divided by four and three-fourths is just like three divided by four. And actually, if you divide this expression, you'll have answers like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.75, which are decimal numbers. These decimal numbers are less than one. So just like what we said earlier, proper fractions are less than one. But how do we read fractions? There are actually two different ways to read fractions. The easiest is to simply say the number over another number, just like this. 1 over 3, 2 over 10, and 5 over 7. Another way is to get rid of the word over and say the ordinal number of the denominator, just like this. 1 third two-tenths, and five-sevenths. So you might probably be wondering why tenths and sevenths we added S. That is because if you look at the number of parts shaded or the numerators, two and five, they are more than one. So there are special names for these fractions, a half and a quarter. Before we finally end our lesson, let's have a simple quiz. Write the correct fraction for each illustration. Here is figure 1, figure 2, figure 3, figure 4, 5, and 6. You can always pause this video if you want to write down your answers. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and check the correct fractions. For number 1, our fraction is 4 over 8. Number 2, it's 1 fourth. Number 3, it's 3 over 9. Number 4, it's 2 thirds. Number 5, it's 4 over 7. And number 6, it's 3 over 5. 
And that's it. Isn't that easy? I have no doubt you've got all the answers correctly. Hopefully, with this lesson, you now have a better understanding about fractions. And that would be all for this lesson. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button and share to people you know, for this may also be helpful for them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. Once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you again in our next lesson.